Hello, dear class six students. Welcome back. This is your science teacher, Ben. I'm here especially for you. And today, we'll be starting the second chapter. And the name of the chapter is Components of Food. OK, Components of Food. Yesterday, we studied about the food. Where does it come from, the source, right? Now, today, we'll study the components of food. And um, even in class five, you know, you have studied regarding these components of food. So today, on the, fr the first uh, two pages of the second chapter, we'll talk about that very quickly, clear? So components of food, we take food, right? Uh, because of that, we get energy. Why, why do we get energy? Because there are nutrients present in our food. That's what we have learned so far. So uh, the first question itself, the first question in your Page 17, the first question it says, name the major nutrients present in our food. Clear? So see, we, we take like different varieties of food and all the food, they have different, different nutrients. Clear? We cannot expect just, uh, in just in one single food, just one food product, we cannot expect all the nutrients. Say example, egg. In egg, we cannot uh, expect like proteins, fat, vitamins, minerals, carbohydrate, f clear. So all the varieties of food, they have different, different nutrients. So uh, the nutrients are carbohydrate, carbohydrate. So this is an energy giving food, clear? Now, the second one is protein. This is a building. This is, this is a bodybuilding food, clear? Because of uh, protein, your muscles, your body get repair, clear? Now, the third one is fades. This is also an energy giving food. And when we compare about the energy, both carbohydrate and fades, they give energy, but fade is more. Um, it's more, fat gives more energy compared to carbohydrate. It also keeps our body warm. Fates also helps in maintaining the hormones. And it is also the provision for the fat soluble vitamin like A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. Clear students? And the fourth one are vitamins. These are, these vitamins protect us like from uh, diseases. And then we have minerals. We have water. So these are the nutrients that are present in the food that you take every day. So the first question, we got the answer. In the page 17, the first question is says, write the major uh, nutrients present in our food. So you can just write this one. That's the answer, simple, clear. Okay, so but now uh, we have a very interesting topic. Clear? Now, see, you all know the importance of all these nutrients. You know, because without this, without this nutrients, any single nutrients absent in your diet, it can be harmful in the long run. Clear? So now you know the importance of these nutrients. So how do you know? Clear? We know that like uh, sugar, starch, uh, apple, uh, papaya, mango are some source of carbohydrate. But how do you know? How do, how do you know that, that uh, certain foods will contain carbohydrate, proteins, and fats? We have a test, okay? We can perform a simple test, a simple test to know whether the food contains carbohydrate, protein, or fats. In the textbook, they have mentioned about three tests. We have three tests to detect whether the food contains carbohydrate, proteins, or fats. Okay, students, so we are going to see uh, the test, okay, a simple test, and we'll do together. This is an activity given in your text, and to perform this te uh, test, we'll need a solution. We'll need just three simple solution, okay? So let's say first solution. First solution. This solution, we'll, we'll call it as an iodine, a dilute. Dilute means adding water, okay? Whatever we add water, it, it is known as dilute. So diluted, clear? So the first solution will be dilute iodine solution, okay? So how do we make this solution? 
this solution, you may be, oh, what is dilute iodine, iodine solution? But this solution would help us to detect whether the food contains uh, carbohydrate or not. Clear? So dilute iodine solution, to prepare this, we need a test tube, okay? A test tube. A test tube, it is like this, okay? A glass. This so we need a test tube, and then we need a two, three drops of iodine, tincture iodine, two, three drops, two, three drops of iodine. So uh, iodine, okay, tincture iodine. Clear? And this uh, test tube, the, uh, it should be half filled with test tube, okay? For our listeners, you can imagine a test tube where it is uh, filled, half filled with water. So half filled means, okay, so this much is filled with water, clear? This is a test tube, you can imagine, and then it is half filled with water. So this blue color is the water, so it is half filled, okay, half. Now, what you will do is that in this test tube that is half filled with water, we'll add two, three drops of iodine. These two, three drops of iodine, we will add uh, in this solution, so done. So we are ready with our first solution, that is dilute iodine solution. Clear? Uh, so we are ready with our first solution. Now let's see how it will work. Clear? Now carbohydrate is very important, right? Carbohydrate, it's, um, it's carbohydrate, means see. Hydrate means water, right? Hydrate means water, that means we have hydrogen, oxygen, and Carbo means carbon. So we have in carbohydrate, we have carbohydrate is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And carbohydrate gives us energy. Clear? Gives Every day you need an energy. Even to walk in the stairs or to shout or to do your daily activities, you need energy. Clear? So this carbohydrate gives us energy. So now... Uh, you may be wondering, now you know the importance of carbohydrates, so you want to test uh, in the foods whether they are, uh, you have many food at home, clear? So you just want to test which food contains carbohydrate. So just take, okay, it's up to you. You want to test two, three foods, or four food, or five food, or six food, that's up to you. So choose whatever, whatever foods uh, at home that you are not sure what kind of nutrients they are composed of, clear? So now, uh, let's take three food, okay? Just simply, let's take, uh, this is one food, this is uh, another food, and then this is the third food, okay? We're just randomly, we're taking three food, okay? I'm just showing a rough uh, picture, but you can imagine it, just three food, clear? And in this three food, what you'll do is that you just put uh, the solution which we prepared. What solution did we make? We made an iodine solution, right? A dilute iodine solution. So in the three food, or it, it is not limited with three. You can make for 10 or like it's up to you, clear? So this is the first food, the second food, and third food. And in this food, I will add uh, two, three drops of this solution, clear? I'll add two, three drops of iodine solution here. So I've added two, three drops of iodine solution. I've added two, three drops of iodine solution. And I have added two, three drops of iodine solution in the three foods that I'm uh, performing a test. And if any of the food change its color to blue green, no, it's blue black, I'm sorry, okay, blue black. Bluish black in color. If the color change, to blue or blackish in color, then that confirms the presence of carbohydrate. Clear? A blue blackish color would confirm the presence of carbohydrate in a food. So now it is ready. Now you can perform, you can, you can test, you can try any food at home and you can test whether the food composed contains carbohydrate or not. Clear? So what solution we have to use? A dilute iodine solution. Clear? Dilute means whatever we're adding water. Clear? So I'm sure you are clear with the first test. The next test, it's important because every one of you, you choose, you like food that has, that gives us proteins, right? So now 
will perform a next test that is for a test for proteins. Clear? Students, test for proteins. Proteins is very important that proteins helps to repair the tissues, okay? And also in maintaining the muscles, body repairing, growth, clear? So how uh, we can detect that like in a food there is a presence of proteins? So now for this, we need to make two solution. For carbohydrate, we just made one solution, right? So here we need to make two solution, clear? So the first solution here, we need copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is a solid, it's a powdery, it's a salt-like, okay? So we need copper sulfate. Clear? Copper sulfate. So this is in a solid form, copper sulfate. And now uh, what we'll do is we'll dissolve it, uh, the copper sulfate in, in a 100 ml of water. 100 ml of water, okay? So this, see, copper sulfate solution, how do we make this? Well, we need copper sulfate. The ingredients that we need here are copper sulfate and 100 ml of water. So now, uh, let's say we'll take two gram, okay? You should take two gram of copper sulfate solution, okay? Copper sulfate, copper sulfate. Two gram of copper sulfate will dissolve in, will dissolve in 100 ml of water. You can shake it, done. So our solution is ready. The copper sulfate solution is ready. What did we need, what ingredients we need? Just copper sulfate, two grams and 100 ml of water. So now we are ready with this solution, clear? Now the second solution, we need caustic soda, caustic, Caustic soda. Caustic soda. So this caustic soda solution also uh, we have to dissolve. We, let's take 10 gram. We'll take 10 gram of caustic soda and we'll dissolve in 100 ml of water. 100 ml of water. So students see we made two solution. Okay, we don't have to like, uh, just simple ingredients. Just copper sulfate solution, what do we need? Copper sulfate, two gram, and then water, 100 ml. The same, the second solution, what do we need? 100 ml of water, I'm sure you, are, you know the 100 ml, right? 100 ml of water, and then we'll dissolve in 10 gram, uh, we'll put this 10 gram of caustic soda in 100 ml of water. That is the only ingredient needed. But these two solutions are separate, okay? Let's say this is the first solution and this is the second solution. So we have to just dissolve because this 10 gram of caustic soda is also in a powdery form. We are going to put in a water of 100 ml. So now we are ready with two solutions. Clear? First solution is copper sulfate solution. Second solution is caustic soda solution. And what are we going to do? We are going to test for protein. Okay, so now same, like same for the uh, carbohydrate, you can choose like whatever food you want to taste. Clear? If you want to check whether there, uh, it presents, like proteins are present or not. So uh, sometimes like food can be solid or it can be in different form, but if it's a, a solid food that you are choosing, okay, if the food that you want to test is a solid food, it's kind of a plant or anything, then what you have to do is you have to mesh it, you have to crush it, or you have to grind it. Clear? You have, to, you have to make a paste of it. Clear? And then what you have to do is that then, uh, okay, we'll start the test. I'll rub this one. Clear? I'm sure you are clear with the solution. I'll rub this and we'll do this activity together. Clear? We'll do this activity. We are not in a laboratory, but you can use your imagination skills. I know you're all smart. Clear? So we'll do together. I'll rub this one. Okay, students, so we'll start the test for proteins. And we are ready with two solutions, copper sulfate solution and caustic soda solution. So now the food that we are, uh, the food that we want to perform uh, a taste is a solid. So we have already crushed the food. We have already make a paste. We have already grinded it. So now what we'll do is that we'll dissolve, okay? We'll dissolve, we'll take a clean test tube. Take a clean test tube 
and then we'll take uh, we'll we'll take we'll put this whatever food we have mashed ma and water and we'll shake it okay just just water the food that we are uh, we are taking for performing and then we'll just shake it clear so let's say this is a clean test tube and then we have water and then the food that, that we are taking for experiment okay and then we'll just shake the shake it clear and after shaking it now we'll use the solution now what we'll do we'll add we'll add two drops two drops of copper sulfate solution add two drops of copper sulfate solution clear see in the food that was mesh uh, and which we dissolve in water we have added the solution that we prepared the copper sulfate but we have to put only two drops of copper sulfate solution clear now after adding two drops of solution what was the second solution that we meant the second solution that we made was caustic soda solution right so now we'll put 10 drops okay 10 drops so uh, if you have a dropper, dropper, okay, we, we can use dropper. Then drops off the second solution, that is caustic soda solution. Caustic soda solution. Okay, and water here, uh, we can add 10 drops as well. Just water, 10 drops. If you may be wondering how many drops we have to put, clear? So. We are ready with the solution. We are ready with everything. Now we have to shake it, okay? What do we have here? We have the, the food which we, we have mashed, which we want to taste for the proteins. We have two drops of copper sulfate solution and we have 10 drops of caustic soda solution. Now shake it, shake well, and then wait for some time. You have patience, wait for some time, and then observe, clear? So you have to observe and if the color change, uh, if the color turns, if the food, the color turns to uh, violet, violet color, clear? Beautiful violet color, then that confirms the presence of proteins, clear? Now don't get confused with the color. Uh, the first one for carbohydrate was a, a bluish black in color. But now uh, for protein, the color is violet. If, the, if, the, if the, this solution turns to violet, that, that confirms the presence of proteins. Clear? Now, the third one is the taste for fats. Now, you don't need any chemical. You can do it right now at home. Okay? Fats, the importance of fats, you know. Okay? You get it from the meal, cheese, all these dairy products, even from egg, from the meat also you get fats. Okay? How do you make a... Uh, how do you know that the given food, the particular food, contains fats? Just take any food and then you just wrap it, okay? Wrap it in a pepper and then you just crush it. But while crushing, you make sure that, that the, pe uh, the pepper does not tear, okay? And now you take out, after crushing, take out the pepper and observe. If you see any oily page in the pepper, oily page in the pepper, that confirms the presence of fats. Okay, so we are done with three types of tests. Test for carbohydrate, you need an iodine solution. The color should be bluish, uh, black in color. Second, for proteins, it should be violet in color. The color should turn violet. You need a copper sulfate solution, and then you need a caustic soda solution. And the last one is test for fades. You don't need any chemical, just pepper you need. And then you have to crush it, and if you see an oily page that confirms the presence of the fades. Clear? So this is all for today. And now we'll talk in the next class. There's more interesting topics that is coming up. Clear? So to be continued, thank you so much.